Hi there and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about the Linux terminal. So maybe you have seen uh, this Windows in Linux, even you have it now, nowadays you have it in Windows. So what is this Windows? So this is something that we call the terminal. So uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to move in this terminal. Okay, but I will show you the most basic commands, but we're going the minimum, the bare minimum to, to get into open form but i want to remind you that it's a lot more than what I, what i'm going to to show you so here you have a few references so in our website we have if you go here uh you will go to the link where you can download the training material you go to the bottom and here you have a pdf file with a lot of information about the bash okay all the command scenes that you can put there but also you have this very nice reference linux command dot org and here you can download a free book a very good one by the way so i recommend you to go through this in case you want to to get more information about this uh the, the linux terminal okay so let's talk about this linux terminal so i'm here in linux okay so i will launch the terminal okay my linux distribution i put already the button here but again you can go here and pick up anywhere else okay so i have it here my shortcut okay in my case it's black you can change the, the colors i'm not going into details that is just cosmetic and i will load open phone okay so in this installation i need to load environment variable okay i go into open phone but see that here where i type in commands in the terminal okay this windows is the terminal and you have the prompt line so basically you type commands Okay, and you need to know those commands, the basic commands that I'm going to show you. Okay, so one, very important, you can type clear and it will clear whatever you have in the screen. So sometimes you can have a lot of information in your race. Okay, so let's say that you are in Linux, you are in your user directory and let me open now also the file explorer. So you are here. So how do we see all these folders or directories? So there is a very basic command that is called ls. Okay, list directory. So see that it will show you all the directories that you have there. So you can compare are the same. And usually these commands, they take options. Okay, so for instance, I can go ls minus al and it will show a list in this way. Okay. So to know more about these commands, there is another one called man for manual. And you put the name ls will ask you an option there, you put one, and here you will have all the options that you can take. Okay, so here you see that it's telling you that if you want to quick press Q or go down with the arrows, the spacebar, and you can scroll, you can you can browse this information. Okay, so you have all those instructions here. Okay, so I'm not going into detail about the meaning of AL. Okay, you can read it there. You can add H also. So it will show you different information. Okay. So this is the basic commands, okay? So I will go ls, l, so see that l, it, it will give you some details, and a, kind of, it will show you some hidden information, okay? Later you can find that, okay, clear? So let's say that now I want to go into the directory called this one, open phone. So there is another command called cd, change directory, and you put the name of the directory, open phone, and you are there. So see that in your prompt line is telling you where you are located. Okay, so this till means that tilde means that this is the, the home directory, your user directory. Okay. So let's say now what do we have here? Again, put like this and see that you have all these directories. So let me go now and I want to go into open phone nine C D and you are there. See that you have it here. So now let's say for instance that you are here and you want to go back a directory. You can go back, you want to go back to the previous one to open for. There is a command cd but dot dot go back one directory. Dot dot go back one directory. Okay, so this is how you move <coughs> in your terminal. Okay, you can do exactly the same stuff here. So see that you enter here, you click. Okay, so it's like typing the commands. Uh, so now that we know how to move in directories, by the way, let me go for instance, cd open phone open phone 9. As you type cd, automatically will go to your home directory. 
So see that you are in your home. How do I know I am in my home? Because there is another command called pwd print working directory. So see that this is my user and it's telling you your working directory. So again, as you go here, open for nine. So you type pw, it, show, show, it will show you the directory. Okay, so now let's see that how we can create folders or files. So I want just to remind you that you can do all this stuff here using the file explorer. So see that create new, I will call it test one. You create that directory, then you can create an empty file here and you call it dummy and so on, okay? So you can do it here, okay? And you can also erase it, but we can do it as well from the terminal, okay? And you, it sometimes it's more efficient to work in the terminal. So for instance, you want to create a new directory I would call it test2, ls minus l, and there you have it, okay? So you go cd test2, ls, and that's all. For instance, if I want to create a, an empty file, I will use this command touch, okay? Which by no means, is you, it means the creating empty file. It's something else, again, read the help, but you can use it to create your, your, this empty file. So you go touch and you call it dummy1, and I will put an extension. So extensions in Linux is, are pretty much useless. Okay, you can use it just to differentiate, but it's not required. LS, and you have the file there. Okay, so you want to raise a file, RN, and you erase it. See that directory is empty. And you can also erase directories, RN minus R, the auction minus R, and you go test two, and that's all is gone. By the way, something important, when you erase files or directories here in the terminal, they are gone, okay? There is no way to recover, or better, there is no easy way to recover that is your erase from, from the terminal, okay? So be careful, you have to be very sure before pressing enter. Okay, so we know how to move in directories, create erase files, and this is important because open phone everything is done like this. Okay, so uh, talking about RN, remember man, manual, and it will show you some instructions, okay? So let me go into open phone, okay? And let me go, uh, in particular, let me go here. Okay, so see that I am entering in some directories, and, okay? And what is important now, open phone, everything is done fr from the terminal, okay? So, for instance, if I want to run OpenFun, I type a command. So later we're going to see what are those commands. These are specific to OpenFun, no Linux. Okay, so see that it's running a process. Okay, so just type the name and that's all. Okay, so this is what we do. So for those who knows what is NS does, just and NS, NS dials, but with, on a steroid. So this is all. These are the most important commands that we need in, 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 in the terminal window, okay? So the, during this course, we're going to do more stuff, okay? I'm going so from time to time, I use a little bit more elaborate commands, but this is what I show you. This is the most important that, that you need to use to move in the terminal. Uh, again, remember the links I show you that you can, there are many more things to do, okay? So for instance, and just to show you a new one, probably something that we, we were going to use from time to time. So let me create an empty file. See that the file exists, exists there. So if you want to rename that file or you want to copy this information in another file, you can go cp copy file, and I want to copy into file two. Okay, and see that you have it there. But also you can copy that file one into a directory because you give here the relative path. So see that you use TNP, I know that TNP exists. So now you are copying that in TNP and see that you can also print whatever is inside TNP and see that you have the file there. You can also move the file. So this is moving. Okay, so see that here we copy and the file still exists there. So if I want to move that, see that it's not anymore there. I erase, let me erase that one. I move into TMP and see that you have those two files there. 
Okay, so you can also do like this. The asterisk are wildcard, so it will show you all the files that start with this name, with these two letters. Okay, so you can use wildcards. Okay, so since there can get, can get a little bit complex. Okay, there are many options. Open phone take advantage of those options and from time to time you will see that I will do stuff like that okay but you can just read now the links that, that I give you and also in our in our PDF files that we have in the link we talk a little bit this of these wildcards okay so you can also use wildcards to erase so it will erase all files that it starts with this first two letters so see that they don't exist anymore and um, final things that I want to show you a little something a little bit complex because you have open phone you have all the source code there okay so here I will move to the source code so sometimes it's very important to look for information in open phone so there is a command very powerful called grp grep grep that you can use to to look for, for information for strings of letters or words or whatever in those files. So look at that, for instance, I will say minus R means look inside all directories and look for this keyword, consistent. And see that is telling you all the files with the location where you have that, that specific string that you are looking for. You can add more complex, uh, more, more 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 complex searches or auctions so as you put n it will tell you a specific the line where you have that war okay so remember that we need a very powerful editor so i'm going to use jedit it's a graphical editor okay i'm not going to use stuff like bi that are <clears throat> that are text based i'm going to in the easy way so you see that you go there and you open that file and as you go here you will find that consistent keyword somewhere there. I think it was, let me see, should be 175, 179. Here, consistent, the war. Okay, so see that what we did here, see the, why this is more efficient than doing the terminal. As you do it, it doing the fly, f file explorer, it's not easy to look in all files looking for a string. And see that here since becomes very very easy and another powerful command linux command is fine fine it will look for files or directories okay so i can say like fine t okay a uh, dot dot means the current directory okay dot dot this is relative so you can go like this okay two directories back or you can give another another path here okay so this is everything relative dot means in this directory so in this directory fine okay type look at for the type and let's say that i want to look for d directories okay minus i name uh, this means it is insensitive names doesn't matter if you have capital or small letters okay linux is, is is sensitive okay very important so make it insensitive and look for directories that contains this string let's say sampling and see that it's telling you that you have a directory there okay so let me go for instance three surface three surface and interfaces so for instance let me look for directories that contain this string see that is telling you that here you're going to find those files you can do the same with files type f and it will look for files that contain this string so in this case there are no files containing that that string so let me go here for instance stitch okay i go here there are no files but remember that we can use uh wildcards okay so it will be like this Okay, so let me go. Okay, sorry, it will be C H like this. Okay, so see that put in a white car, it's telling you that that file is located here. So those are the most important commands that we're going to to use. The ones I just showed you. This last two that I showed you, fine and using grid, is just for look for information in the source code. Okay. 
we are not going to rely a lot on that because after after all this is an introductory training so we're going to focus more in the practical aspects we're not going to go through the tests in the source code okay but we have the most important commands feel free to use the the file explorers to create directories to move files okay you can also move file from that directory to the other but believe me it is more efficient you will find that it's more efficient to do those operations here and final thing that i'm going to show you is my bash rc file my configuration file okay so if i go like this minus al you will see that you have this file this is a very important file in my case in my installation that i have in my user that <coughs> i'm using the bash rc and here i'm configure configuring everything that I, is being run automatically when i log in or when i open a new window so see that this is what I'm loading. So this is my proper environment in Linux. So see that I'm loading these libraries. This is how I load open phone. So I very often, I will type in the terminal this because I need to load all the open phone variables. And I have many more stuff there that I'm not going into details, okay? So this is this things that you see here. This is something that you can do following the installations in the in the following the, the instructions, installation instructions given by by openphone, openphone.com or org, but also in our link in our in our YouTube channel as we give all the details. Okay. So that is the final part that I wanted to show you and to stress again that we need a good text editor. So Jedit comes with most of the Linux installations, okay? Or the other one is Sublime Text, which is free. You need to download and install, okay? It's a very good one just to show you the graphical user interface, okay? It's this one. So again, you can configure, change colors, whatever, I'm not going into details. And I, I will avoid as much as possible, and I'm quite sure that I'm not going to do it using a stuff like BI. BI is a, is a, is a text editor with text base. See that there is no no nice graphical user interface. Okay, so if you are a beginner, this might be a little bit tricky to use. But as for the bash terminal, when you know the commands and everything, you can be very very efficient using this. In any case, we don't need to go this this advanced. Okay, so we go close there. I type exit exit and and out. So that's all those are the basic commands of the terminal okay so if you want more information go here okay you will have a very nice explanation or here open that one and you will find also many com commands there are a lot of linux commands okay so here i go in this one i go through the most important commands okay uh also re uh, recalling for the last video that we're going to use the bash terminal okay so you want to to know what terminal are you using when you launch your terminal no what what shell you are using type something like this and see that it's telling you that you are using bash that is okay if for any reason you are not using bash if you want to start to use bash type bash and that's all okay so that's all for for <coughs> for the shell and the terminal so thank you for your attention and see you next video that we're going to start to talk about open phone bye